Okay, so now let's look at automation within uh, Ableton. So this is something that you've probably been waiting for because it's been something that's been talked about quite a bit. So let's go ahead and find a sample we like. Let's get something. Ooh. Nope. Um, let's go to those truth sample kits and just grab this percussion loop. So we'll pop it down here. So if I play this percussion loop through, I want to change the volume of that over time. But I don't want to sit here with the volume controller and move it up and down. I want the computer to do it for me automatically. So Ableton has automation just like every other digital um, audio workstation so the way that you can enable the automation in Ableton is by activating the uh, parameter that you would like to change by just clicking on it and you'll notice that now we've got a red line that runs through this project okay so if I grab the volume and I pull it down you will recognize that that line is changing so this little window here is showing us what that red line is. So that red line is from the mixer. And then to be more specific, it's the track volume. So if I clicked a, another feature inside of here, it's still coming from the mixer, but now it is track panning. Cool. So I can show you examples of how it will be from something other than the mixer. So if I go and I find an audio effect and I get an auto filter and I put it on here. Now, if I click one of the controls on the auto filter, the line has changed. And now it's telling me it's coming from auto filter. And the knob that I've clicked is frequency. Okay. So let's go ahead and delete him for now. Let's go back over here. Let's right click on that and send it back to default. So we want that to be at zero decibels, which is the maximum volume for the clip. Now I'm going to interact with this red line. I can click on it when it goes solid and I can create a little node and then I can click down here and I can create another node. And if I click on top of that, it gets rid of it, get, gets rid of it. So if I click there, uh, I can do it all in one fluid motion. I can click and hold and then I can drag down and now I've made a ramp. Okay, so down here if I put my cursor over the little dot we've got it says negative infinity decibels. So it means no volume and here it's zero decibels. So full volume. So if I click on the sample and I press play you slowly hear it increasing in volume until it gets to about here where it's full volume. Okay, so that is some very basic automation. We can do a couple of things with our automation. We can hold Alt and we can drag to bend it if we want to make some sort of curves. We can click and click and we can pull all the way down and we can pull all the way up. Um, all the way up on this will go to plus six decibels, so maybe that's not such a good idea. But I can come all the way up, I can shoot all the way down, I can draw all kinds of line, like different shapes and whatnot with this. And if I grab the entire thing, I can move the entire thing up, I can go control Z to go back. What I can also do is if I wanted to copy that um, piece of audio and then paste it there, um, it's also pasted my automation. So what I can do is I can actually click this little lock here and I can go copy and paste and I won't paste the automation and then if I really want to paste it with the automation I can change that. Another thing I can do is I can drop this automation into a lane of its own. So I can click the little plus button here and now I've got that mixer track volume automation on its own channel. So And then I can drop that away. So that little arrow will open up the automation lanes. So I'll show you how this can help you keep your project really tidy. So I'll put this next filter on and I'm going to change it to a bandpass filter 
I'm going to give it a little bit of resonance and I'm going to basically just, um, so I've clicked the frequency. You can see that that line has been activated. I'm going to select an area. I'm going to hold shift and you'll notice that the whole line kind of lights up here, but the rest of it doesn't. That means I can pull the entire thing up or the entire thing down. So what I'll do is I think I'll have it sweeping from down, uh, from up to, to down there and then I'll have it sweep back up again. Cool. So now I've drawn in uh, some new automation for a new instrument or in this case effect. Now I can press the plus button and I can drop that into its own lane. So now we can listen to that. Cool. So it's kind of just glitchy and uh, sounds like maybe a little bit of it's underwater or something like this. So that's the effect of the auto filter and the volume automation. So we can drop that away nice and tidy. We can open that up. Now if we want to copy this and paste it there like we showed before, the automation copies over. If you copy that or sorry, if I en enable the lock and then I copy that and I paste that, it doesn't bring the, the, um, the automation board I can do as I can copy and paste the automation from its particular lane. Cool. So maybe in some instances you just simply want to copy things over, but maybe in another instance, instead of just having, instead of having both the volume and the, the filter, you just have the filter. Cool. So that's automation um, inside of the session view. We can also do automation in the clip view, and I have shown this before, but I'll just refresh here. So if I come down here and I click, I've, I've selected the clip and I click on it, now I'm seeing inside the clip, and what I'll do is I'll just quickly consolidate that just to make it nice and simple. So I can open up the envelopes here, and I can navigate to what I'd like the volume to be automated to. So, uh, oh, sorry, I said the volume, but you can navigate to the volume or the transposition or whatever else you'd like. So I'm gonna go volume, and I'm gonna click on the dotted red line up the top and then I can make another dot here and then I can drag that dot down so that hits gonna be really quiet but then maybe I want it to be that loud there but then bring it down there and then this one can be kinda loud um, and I'll just go ahead and turn the auto filter off just so you don't hear that but now cool so that automation is um, loaded into the clip now it's not on the timeline it's actually in the clip and the only way to get rid of that is by uh, just kind of unselecting everything and undoing all your all your dots same way here if you really need to start undoing all your automation just it's like pulling out uh, nails or something you just pull them out and that just slowly all attacks come free so that is automation within Ableton I'll see you in the next video thanks for watching this video if you'd like to support my channel, consider subscribing on YouTube, following on Facebook. Alternatively, if you'd like to support me financially, jump over onto Patreon and become a patron, or donate via PayPal. And don't forget, starting a new endeavor such as learning Ableton and electronic music production can be extremely overwhelming, so take things day by day and believe in yourself. Thank you.